What's up, guys? Welcome to the live stream. Come on. Come here. Come here. Up. Yes, I'm going to give you a treat. Sure, up. The people want to say hi to you. Up. Out of it. Wait. Wait. What's up, guys? Why am I not partnering with a moonshiner to come up with my own brand? Um, because that's just not my, not my thing. Oh boy! Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Is it minion? Is it minion? Minion from Norway. Focused on the tree. He he loves the minion plushies. He's a very big fan of them. He's also a big fan of not sitting on my lap at the moment. But I bribed him up here with the tree, and then I got the minion doll. Minion plushie. Here, here you go. <laughs> you Ben, I've been good. I've been, been busy. Today was a nice day. There was a bunch of outdoor outdoor stuff to get done. Mower blades to change and ATV stuff to switch around. Stuff like that. It is the Minion. It is. I was totally going to tell you guys how many Minion plushies there were. There are 428 left on the website. We've sold more than more than half. I kept just a little bit of just a little bit of stock in case anything, you know, gets messed up, something gets lost in shipping or you know, something like that. Um, does Minion have cataracts? No, he doesn't. He was actually just recently at the vet and they said he did not have cataracts. I just asked because that was a super super common question. Oh hail the word minion. Yeah, it's all hail Lord Minion. <laughs> I do decide to name Minion Minion because he was little and yellow and did everything overly ambitiously and not always 100% right and it was adorable and the Despicable Me movies he just kind of reminded me of one of the Minions. Let's have a dagger plushie too. I might. I gained weight from Jen's good cooking. Mm, I don't really think much. I did gain some, but I'm just super active and I only eat so much regardless of how much food there is. So this lifestyle and, and gaining weight, at least for me, is difficult. I have like a high metabolism, so no giant beer belly for me, at least right now. Want to buy one? Twenty dollars for plush is a lot for me right now. Please make another opportunity to buy this plush again. So this one I won't. Uh, this one I won't make available again. There may be a variant of it available. Like there will be more minion plushies. It won't be this particular one because I said it was a limited edition, and it wouldn't be fair to to the people who bought one thinking they're getting a limited edition one if I just come out with like a whole bunch other ones identical to it. So. Hope Minion gets over Lime soon. I think it's pretty much kind of dormant in him, probably. Um, but he doesn't, I don't know. He does have some like joint issues. Could be his age. He's, he's, he's like, he's very, uh, acts very healthy though, if that makes sense. Mm. Digging the beard, brother. Big beard tonight. <laughs> Thanks. How's the T-Rex treating you? It's treating me good. Real good. I'm going to show you guys something super cool. Took forever to get here. And I got to put this on the truck. It's Minion's T-Rex. Right, Minion? Right, Minion? What's this? I haven't showed you this, have I? 
You're like, I don't care. It's just a metal plate. Okay, as a pure minion. <laughs> That's awesome. Love it. Cool. I believe. I can't remember all this I put in. I'm pretty sure that this is a zero and not an O. But can't I? Can't really tell. <laughs> Got a minion plush. I'm excited to get it. That's awesome. Yep, that's cool. Thanks for all the orders, guys. 428 available the last time I checked. Now there's 426. You guys have been every couple minutes, another one gets gets sold. I didn't expect them to uh, take off quite that at that rate, but they are, I guess. I guess minions just super special. Are you special? Are you special? <laughs> How many are left? Probably just answered that by the time you typed that. Thank you so much for bringing us into your life. It's been so informative and educational. I'd love to meet you one day and say thank you. Just to say thank you. I, I do plan to do some meet and greets again this year. Go out and meet some folks. Doing okay, man. Beard coffee products are solid. Yep, I am. And thanks. I uh, appreciate you checking out the beard and coffee products. They're... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of them. I'm really particular about products, so the ones I have on there I'm I'm proud of. What am I drinking? Sparkling water. It's coconut flavored. I don't know why I'm suddenly digging the coconut flavored sparkling water, but do you have a solar generator? I do. Um how did the house catch fire? That's a good question. The there's a house. It's not really a neighbor's house. It's down down the road and on a different road. Um, but it was connected to electric, and nobody had was living there. So probably something electrical just degraded in the house, and rodents got in and and did whatever and caused issues. Please make more plushies, even if it's not this one. I really wanted to buy one. I just can't afford one right now. Yeah, I, I will make more minion plushies. There will be more minion plushies. There will be more. There will be more. Minion. Every time we make minion plushies, you get some. Aww. Like five. You get to have like five all to yourself. Isn't that cool? Aww. Yeah, it's cool. I can't wait to get my minion plushie. Awesome. Yeah, a bunch of bunch of you guys um definitely jumped on them. And as plushy. I I may be making an as plushy sometime too. It's grunts, just can't so cute, right? He's he's got he's got a he's got the sounds. Hard to find beard oils that aren't overly greasy or aggressive in their smells. I agree. I, I can't stand a, a Greasy beard care product that makes your hair feel like it's just slimy. That's been really happy with everything and appreciate the quality. Well, thanks, Mark. Yep, uh, it's it's really difficult to balance like the strength of scent, especially when it's like a preference thing, um, which is partially why I have unscented as well. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm glad you like them because I'm I'm happy with them. How old was Minnie when I found him? I believe he was about six months old. I don't know for sure. Let's see Minion playing with the Minion plushies, please. Well, you can play with this one, because this one's right here. Yeah, you can play with it. You can play with it. It's a plushie. It's your friend. It's your twin. Get it. Get it. By the way, they're not a... Uh, they're not designed as dog toys. However, I let Minion play with all kinds of stuff that's not a dog toy. Don't die. Don't die. Are you wiggly? Are you wiggly? <laughs> Do your beard care products work for hair as well? So I just released a, um, a uh, 
Mane Tamer, which is designed specifically for hair. But yes, you can use the beard oil on your hair. Just be very um, sparing with it. Don't use it too much. You don't want like, yeah. It's just easy to overuse on hair for sure. But don't overuse it. It'll last you forever and it'll work. But the uh, the Mane Tamer is definitely a little better. It's a little easier to apply to head hair, all that kind of thing. Sorry, I mean, scent would be hilarious. I buy it out of curiosity. <laughs> we get some all quietly hail Lord Minion in the chat. <laughs> Drama Canada, auto, please ship to Canada. Heck so sad, need plushy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, having no international shipping yet. Um, I'm going to work on that, and hopefully we can get some some plushies at about the same time, and we can have international minion plushies. Minion will go international. Only a matter of time before minion goes international. It's only a matter of time before you go international. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Any morels in your area yet? Yes, there are some. Have I personally found any? No. But yeah, they're, they're around for sure. Had a neighbor get a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Where's Jen? She's here. She's hanging out just, just on the other, other side of the camera. Anyone know what he's doing about the flea disease thing? <laughs> you mean the Lyme disease that can be gotten from ticks? Um, all I'm really doing is is giving him a doxycycline as what the vet prescribed for him. Not coming through on the tube. Not sure what you mean. Give me your Pepsi on your desk. Jen's Pepsi. Jen make that Pepsi. No, no, she didn't make it. Totally can uh can um make Pepsi's here with the soda stream thing though. But she doesn't she says it doesn't taste the same. How's Darkwing Duck doing? He's doing good. He's integrating really well. Hanging out with the girls. I plan to get a new cat. I don't know if that video hit YouTube yet. Um, but yes, there are two two new kittens coming. It's Lord Minion shirts. There are Lord Minion shirts. There are. I think a bunch of people are grabbing the plushies on the website quick and don't forget to check out some of the other stuff because it just save on shipping if you combine. Except for the coffee doesn't combine with with the plushies. Just about just about everything else does though. So minion boys said ha at ha ha funny said hi. Minion. That's a hi. He's hanging out on the ground right right by my feet. Hard to say why, but he is. Am I drinking? It's sparkling water. It's really not that exciting. It's coconut flavored. Timeline for building the house. I'm thinking about starting it maybe next spring slash summer. I want to do a garage this year. Anything in the garden at the moment? Not, not at the moment, no. Drinking water from a coconut. I wish. That'd be cool. That would be cool. As plushies would be cool. I think people would really like as plushies. I'll probably end up coming out with, with something on that too. Nate, your videos are an absolute joy. Thanks so much for sharing. Minion as Dagger, Charlotte, and the Ducks with us. You're very welcome. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Orange kitten energy approaching. That's right. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to be crazy. Did a Mennonite experience turn you from Christianity? 
No. Um, but, I mean, like in my 20s, it kind of did. And then this time around, like, it, you know, I just don't see them as they claim to represent God and their claims don't mean it's actually true. Need to order some beard products. I think you'll be pleased. I get I get really, really good reviews. Really good reviews on them. Let's see. I forget what I said we had for minion plushies. Now we have four th 413 left on the website. I think we were at 440 or something when we started. But thanks for your orders, guys. Minion was in a YouTube video called The Dogs of 2023 with his umbrella. Finally got it out. Very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, people really like the, the Minion. The Minion umbrella. Actually, I got a message on his account from... I don't even remember. Some kind of TV show that wanted permission to share. That's not a TV show. It's one of those news places. That wanted to... Wanted permission to share the minion with the umbrella video. And I was like, sure. So we'll see if that actually happens or not. But Jimmy Lane delivered to USA when world domination <laughs> happening, right? I know, I know. It is a shame. Is there a West Virginia Wild Edible series? Do you ever plan on making one? Not particularly. Um, there's, cer there's certainly like wild edible things here that I'll I'll show in videos, but I probably won't turn it into a series and cover everything and all that kind of thing. Um, but won't be long in the Greenbrier shoots will exist. Those are super good. Minion probably already has his connections all over the world. Yeah, he definitely does. Minion has connections. <laughs> You can give Minion Media, I'm 100% mentioning him on Rogan's podcast in two months. You all may want to prepare for some new eyes. That would be really cool. That would be cool. Definitely. Um, when that happens, send me a send me an email of the exact podcast episode or something. That'd be really cool. You feel about 3D printers? I think they're cool. I actually have one. You call it minion slime disease before symptoms is probably going to help him. I think so. Yep, I think so. Y'all doing anything for the eclipse tomorrow? I'll be looking for it. It's probably going to be overcast and cloudy. Um, that being said, the weather people miss miss this stuff all the time. Where's minion? Right down here by my feet. He's just chilling, looking at me. Mm -hmm. You do manage to have some free time. What do you and Jen do? Do you watch shows or play games? We do both. Um, it just depends. At least winter time. Winter times when there's more free time than other times of year. We were approached to home setting changes. You get older. Um, not really, because my building and preparing this homestead is for me when I get older. So I'm going to work on designing things, putting systems in place that are less maintenance over the next like 10 years or so. Um, I just want to prepare for it. Everybody talks about saving for retirement. That's my preparation for retirement, if you will. Saver Plus, you would be cool. I might have to order a lot on the website to try. <laughs> It'd be possible. It'd be possible I'd do a saber plushie, maybe a saber and dagger plushie set or something. We'll see. Plushies are in some ways kind of kind of risky because to get any kind of decent price on them, you have to order them in the thousands quantity. And if for some reason the internet decides they don't like it, um, then you end up with like a thousand or two thousand plushies that you can't really sell and then you're like oh this stinks so it's not like i can just 
order like 20 and see how they do because like even the samples i think are like 140 bucks just to get a single sample custom sample sent to you like so you got to be pretty sure where's minion he's hanging out down here on the floor he was up here earlier but Girls are such strong personalities. I'm excited. Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited too. I love cats with strong personalities. Um, yep. <laughs> Enjoyed your talk with Powell a lot. Awesome. Very cool. Where's Dagger? I think he's a... No, he's not outside. He's crashed out on the floor too. How's the weather? Today was awesome weather. It was 60 degrees. I was in short sleeves most of the time out there. It was sunny. I got a whole bunch of little projects done. How much are the plushies? $19.99 plus shipping. It's $409 left. <laughs> It'll... I'm sure the the quantity of sales will die down, and they'll probably be they'll probably be available for like the next few days. I would guess. Anytime I make a video about something, it like peaks in sales, and then it tapers way off, which is like totally fine. Got one the minute I saw you had them. Well, that was that was good. I'm going to feel bad if it goes 24 hours and they sell out like in a 24 hour period because I don't know, just some people eventually stumble upon it and they're like, oh, I've been waiting for months and it'll be sold out by the time they saw the video. <laughs> you build your house, you're going to have a well drilled for water. Probably not. I'm probably going to do a similar water system, but I think I'll do it underground. Less um, issue with freezing and all that. So many fellow Canadian fans love to see it. There's there's a lot of folks in Canada that are that are watching the content. It's really cool. What's your opinion on coffee blends for espresso? Um, almost all my blends I have are for espresso. It's my favorite way to drink coffee. So, um, if the coffee isn't good in an espresso, it doesn't make it onto my site. <laughs> So, I mean, you can make specific ones for espresso and like some coffees do taste best as espresso. Um, but then a lot of people get locked into thinking that you have to have espresso beans to make espresso. And that's not necessarily true. Coffee beans are coffee beans. What do I treat my water with? I usually use bleach. I am currently using chlorine, but I used bleach the year before. Um, those seem to work. Where's Jen? She's here. She's over on the on the other side of the room, just on the other side of the camera. You let us know an ass chases a predator away from the homestead. I will do that. I'm sure he's already chased predators away from the homestead. I'm just not aware of yeah that that's what it was he runs off and doesn't run off far but he runs to the edge of the wood barks and carries on and i have no idea if he's barking at yeah i mean like a possum or like a pack of several coyotes and whatever it is obviously every time so far it's turned and gone the other way what was i up to today changing Robot lawnmower blades, updating firmware in one of the robot mowers, um, unloading firewood, not much, unhooking the cart from the ATV, switching out ATV accessories, picking up a bunch of sticks in the yard, picking up some other stuff that has dragged around. Um, just It was just one of those days, lots of, lots of that stuff. How do you stay motivated to do the stuff you do? Well, I don't know. I'm just a motivated person. Like certain things 
just have to be done and they just need to be done. Like, I, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Has got so big. Does he get any growing pains? He's had a, a limp or two now and again, um, just for maybe a day or so, and then it goes away. So he probably does. What trick would you like to teach Manny? And every trick I've thought of wanting to teach him, I've taught him, with the exception of catching a rubber band in his mouth. Um, you know, you take a rubber band and you shoot it, and I try to shoot it, like, by him. And I, I can get him to, like, snap at a rubber band, particularly when I'm holding it. But catching one out of the air, like, he just, that's, that's a lot to, that's a lot to ask. But I tried. Storm the other day was crazy. Blew over my hunting shack, clear apart, flipped over almost a thousand pound wood platform I was sitting on. Yeah, it it was it was pretty crazy here too. It was really selective. Like I had a, I have it's still standing out on that back deck, a plastic saw horse that like a five mile an hour wind could blow over. It's still standing there. We had to picked up a burn barrel full of stuff and like put it in the woods and it didn't land on the ground. It was like up on other stuff, like. It was really weird, really weird. It was so windy over there and back there, apparently, in that spot, not so much. Love it when you say homestead. It gives me old Americana vibes like country roads and apple pie. You are my emotional support channel. That's awesome. Thank you for the super chat. Nate from Southwestern Ontario. Enjoy your vids. Where's Jen and Minion? Minion is... Well, we went over there to the kennel, and Jen is just right over there on the other side. She's here. She's here. She just wasn't feeling like being on the live tonight. What's your favorite trick you've taught Minion? What's Minion's favorite trick? Um... Favorite trick I've taught Minion? Probably to carry eggs, put them in a basket, and then carry the basket. Probably my favorite. And Minion's favorite trick. He really likes carrying the basket. He really does. He gets so proud when he does it. Hey, do you butcher any of the male ducks for meat? If so, do you do it yourself or take them to the butcher? How does the meat taste compared to chicken? It tastes, at least part of it, like the breast meat, tastes more like a red meat. Um, and I haven't butchered any in, in quite a while, but yes, I do butcher male ducks for, for meat. I'd be more invested if one of my 200 questions asked ever be seen. I literally enjoy the channel. Something really makes me smile. Hum bike. I'm not sure what that is, but hey, I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. And I did see, I did see that comment. Looking at getting a buzz, but there's not a lot of breeders. There aren't a lot of breeders. No, not a whole lot. But you only need one. <laughs> one to have puppies at, at the right time you, you want them. So much flooding here in Pittsburgh. I watched a crazy storm on your live. It was cool to see. Yeah, no doubt. I can't believe the phone stayed standing. It was it was pretty wild. I didn't like to listen to any particular music. Not that I've, not that I know of. <laughs> uh, mm, ducks are messy, messy, messy. They can be. Um, having them like cooped up in a coop versus free ranging is is totally different. But they they can be, especially as you start get start getting more and more. So house design coming along, or did you decide to build the shop first? I did decide to do the shop first. I haven't thought a whole lot about the house design. Petition to change Lyme disease name to the Lord's ailment. <laughs> That's funny. Well, you get me in a companion. Well, he's got Jen's dog, Charlo. He hangs out with Az. He hangs out with 
all cats. Like he's he's got he's got all the companions he could need. Why must go over other over other breeds? So I like that they're quiet. Um, they're naturally friendly. They feed themselves starting really soon here. Like in the winter, they don't. But well, they eat a lot of acorns in the winter. So, but they basically forage a lot of stuff, especially in the, in the summertime, spring, fall, summer. They forage a lot. Hey, you're a good man. Literally thought I was banned or offline. You're just popular. Yeah, this is this is a smaller live than I than I typically have. And yeah, I just I just miss I just miss stuff. Unfortunately, I know I can't read every single one. Um, otherwise, I'd be an hour behind in a hurry. You walk to get around the homestead, or just drive a vehicle. Most of the time, I walk like on this two acre part, like. But if I have to go to like a far field, sometimes I walk. Um, but and then a lot of times I drive it move anything. Um, typically I don't walk from one point to another without a reason, and oftentimes that reason is to move something, whether it's firewood or something else. And sometimes it makes sense to use a vehicle or ATV. Love watching your content, love that you're real and relatable. Awesome. What does your finished homestead look like to you? A house, garage, probably a barn, and then a few more animals, and that's really it. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy and elaborate. I don't know if I found your channel, no clue, but I did. Much love from Los Angeles. Well, thanks. Gonna watch the eclipse. I'm sure I will. It's probably going to be cloudy, but I'm sure I'll watch. All right, let's check the check the minion minion plushies. Oh, we're less than four hundred left on the site. We're down to three ninety one. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see when when we sell out of them. Because I would say at this rate, it's it's going to happen. <laughs> Drink am I drinking? It's just sparkling water, coconut flavored. I know it looks like a, a fancy beer or something if you don't. Well, maybe it doesn't look fancy. But yeah. <laughs> it's just bubbly water with a flavor. Price on the plush. Well, if you click on the link, you can totally find out for yourself, but I'll tell you. It's $19.99. Oh. Got to try one of your coffees. Awesome. What was your training method for Minion? He was the first dog I trained. I tried all kinds of training methods. He's a, he's a combination of many different things. Minion. 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 Goofball. Ugh. How long will the live be? Probably not much longer. I'm tired. I've been. I've been super busy today. Damn, shout out my beautiful wife. She's trying to recover from strep. We watch you every Sunday. Oh, what's up? Dizzy Badger's wife. <laughs> Hope you feel better. Hope you feel better. In your commenter, Gabe. Gabe, been a positive influencer to me. To be me and work on my family. That's what it's all about. Another who is kind to me. Well, awesome. Consider next guard for Tick. I think that's what I gave him. I don't even remember what I gave him. It's a, a uh, chewable tablet, I guess, once every 30 days. I don't remember what the name was on the box. The coffee. 
Beard oil and butter is awesome. I love the stuff. I'll be ordering another batch soon. Well, awesome. Glad to hear that. Thank you. I like the cheap coffee from Walmart, but every once in a while, I like the good stuff to remind myself what coffee should taste like. There's nothing wrong with with um cheap coffee. What I have is, is not cheap coffee, but if you're trying to save money or having budget issues or just you know don't care whether you have cheap coffee or expensive coffee then you may as well buy a cheap coffee like everybody should enjoy coffee however they want to i'm sweating a lot today i got dehydrated nah, i can afford a nice coffee now and again perfect yep <laughs> Perfect. Personally, I like tea. Awesome. I like tea too. I just don't happen to sell any at the moment. I'm not as passionate about tea as I am coffee. Now, I may decide to go learn more about teas and find out stuff and sample a bunch, and that might change, but. Jen does want mini cows, and Jen's right here. She's just not in the in the camera. Well, as future as plushies include a vial of drool. Uh, probably should. That'd be funny. Your solar system, I've got a little system I use to charge a deep cycle battery. Cool. Yep, I've I've got a I've got a tiny system I use to charge a deep cycle battery too. It's on a tiny little ATV cart. Um, I've built a number of tiny systems. They're they're cool. Mm. I'm a bit picky about the brands I would drink because I was reading about molds and ground coffee. Yeah, it, it can be. It can. Uh, yeah, there's there's all kinds of coffees. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen low quality coffee and coffee that was not fit for consumption. But <laughs> <clears throat> Just bought my minion plushie. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. That's really cool. Let me see. Down to 385. I can't remember for the life of me what the what I started at when I began the live here, but thought of names for the girls yet. Um katana and cloak. And I also have dagger. So cloak and dagger and a katana. Your solar panel is going to be affected by the eclipse. If so, how? Yes, they will be. Um, believe in my area, I'm supposed to get a 90%. Um, it's supposed to be like the 90% eclipse, so 10% of the light will come through. Uh, it's going to be cloudy on top of it. I'm probably going to br like be bringing in no power. Even if it wasn't cloudy, I would still see a serious reduction in power coming in. Oh, I donate on an iPhone. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> My dad lives in Detroit. They're going to get 99%. I wish I still lived there. Cool. I thought about driving. I could drive like five hours from here and get up to Ohio to see 100%, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be cloudy over there too. So... One time YouTube viewer, first time in live. Well, welcome. Thanks for being here. Love you, Nate. Gotta go, but I love you. <laughs> Thanks. Where's Jen? She's here. She's just on the other side of the screen.
Sunny all day in southern Ohio today. I bet it was sunny all day here too. First time chatter on here, just subscriber. Well, welcome. Love the stuffed animal mini with the hat. It's awesome. Yeah, I thought so too. I, I really thought I really thought it had to had to have a hat, at least for the first design of the plushie. But yeah, the hat's cool. That's cool. Got the little M for minion. My little tag. And it also says Choking hazard, not for children under three years old, and that's because it's got a hard plastic nose. So don't eat the nose, or you know, eat any of it, but don't eat the nose. Doesn't look like Minion. Yeah, it does and it doesn't. Like it's a plushie, not a. But you should have seen what like. The first couple design things were there. I was just like, no, that's that's unacceptable. Um, I'm sure I could have gotten a lot better if, if everybody's willing to pay like 200 bucks a piece for their plushie. I think I could get something that was really, really accurate. And I don't think I can get very many people to buy plushies at 200 bucks a piece. It's just, just a haunch, but yeah. <laughs> And then I'm gonna have to pre-order them. And plushie will be a collectible limit issue. It will be, and this this is also gonna be the the first one. Like, so there there will be more based on the sales. I don't know how many how many more, but started out with a thousand of these. We are down. Where are we down to? Where'd that go? To three eighty two. Um, that being said, I kept a hundred in reserve in case some something gets lost in shipping or gets damaged somehow it's like I, I can't just like call the manufacturer and get five more made like that. I just can't do that um so I have to keep some in reserve just to in case some some kind of mess up happens Need to make ass, the ducks, the cats, and Jenna plushie. Everybody deserves a plushie. Oh man, that would be pretty cool to have all the all the homestead um, people and critters have their own plushies. It'd be pretty cool. Hi Nate, give me an extra pets for us. I'll do that, bigger girl. Thanks for the super chat. Where the ducks sleep at night in the coop for now. I'd buy a two hundred dollar autograph. Accurate minion plushie if it came autographed by minion in Q. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you. Can I have one for free, please? Just because I asked. Well, no, probably not, but hey, it didn't hurt to ask, right? <laughs> we ordered some coffee, it was really good. We got the dark plan. Order more next week. Well, awesome. Glad to hear you liked it. That's cool. But having a kitchen duck's babies. Kitchen duck and her babies make up close to 50% of the flock. So basically, they just grew up. Gonna sell minion photograph cards. I'm assuming that's what you meant. Um, probably not. I do have... I do have minion stickers on the website, though. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I still have some of these. I forget what's, what goes out of stock and, and whatnot. I know there's stickers on the site, though. Will I be watching the Eclipse? Yes, I will be. Or consider making some in-depth videos of some of the bigger projects you do around the homestead. I might sometime. Um, I usually don't do that much in-depth videos because I seem to lose people and my more in-depth, higher effort videos get less views. And it's like, well, I can also just do stuff at a very easy to understand level. And yeah, I don't know. How long did it take to make those plushies, design, etc. I'm not really sure. This was one of those projects that was actively worked on and put on the back burner and actively worked on. Um, but 
the the plans went into the works to start getting some over six months ago. Probably eight months ago. Oh. How extreme does the storm have to be for you to bring as into the house? That storm I got was probably extreme enough to bring as in the house. Um, just by the time I got that bed, I knew I'd never get him out of his house and in here. Because so he was like, nope, I'm staying here. Um, that being said, I'm not sure the house is much safer than his house. It just depends what's happening. Um, this is just a pole building with metal siding. Like, it's it's not actually a house. So maybe I should get out of here and go lay in his doghouse. <laughs> At least he's got all oak siding. How long do your lives last? Usually one to two hours. I've been on here for 15 minutes. I am about to, I am about to jump off of here, though. Horizontal fan. Archie B. Mike will convert you to a gamer yet, right? <laughs> yeah, I like this mic. I don't always use it. Most of the time, I just go live off of my iPhone. This webcam quality is not great. But it's okay. You writer have any published writing? No, not yet. I might eventually. 24 hour stream tonight. No. <laughs> no, no legs though. But an airway calendar. I might do something next year. I meant to do a calendar this year. The year before I did a minion calendar. That was pretty cool. Forget the MV. Joined hi Nate and Minion and Jen. How's Minion feeling after the vet visit? He's feeling good after the vet visit. Um, I haven't noticed any bad side effects from the antibiotic. At least he seems to be doing well. Under with ducks. That would be cool. Yeah, I should I should do a I should do a uh a homestead calendar that would have all the different animals and stuff. That would be really cool. Your favorite dream for your dream house? I bet it changes up a bit. I change my ideas all the time. Secret bookcases, secret elevators. I don't know why I would put anything secret in because as I was building it, I would like make videos on the whole thing and then it wouldn't be anymore, but it's not really the point, just making something fun function and look like it's functionless is just cool to me. Your plans on getting new animals? Just slow and steady. <laughs> That's pretty much it. You and Jen got tested for Lyme? No, I think I had it one time. I did some kind of natural treatment and... I've been been fine ever since, but obviously I didn't have it bad, like if I did have it at all. Hey, there's a family of saber colored cats over here. If I didn't know we live in different states, I'd be rushing to get them for you. <laughs> well, cool. Thanks. How much longer will I be? Because I might have to go soon. Not much longer. I'm gonna jump off of here in a in a couple minutes. I did email you about the beef jerky, but not got a response. Really? Okay, let me search my email right now while I'm on live. I get I get so many, so many emails. I try not to miss any, but research. Jerky. I'm not totally sure what your what your email is saying. I never get in the UK.
Yeah, um, I probably can't buy beef jerky and send it over to you. Pretty sure that's what you're, what you're asking. First of all, the stuff actually has a, uh, at least the stuff I bought, like, has a shelf life. Like, it doesn't, it's not packed full of preservatives, and I know this by the fact that some of it molded on me in not much time. Um, not sure I didn't see that. I just literally searched my email for beef jerky, though. Anyway, if I saw your email. <laughs> Enjoy your minion and all. Thanks. Coffee organic. Some of it is. I'm not wild about the organic trademark. Yes, organic is literally a trademark. It means whatever the trademark holder wants it to mean. And it doesn't always mean coffee without pesticides. It means it's coffee that only uses the chemicals they approve. And they change the chemicals they approve year over year. And it some years it means less than it meant before. Um, and then they charge coffee farmers a lot of money to get their crops certified organic or to be allowed to use the trademark to sell it. And the poor farmers that already farm in a safe method can't afford the trademark. And therefore their coffee never gets to get labeled organic, even if it's grown in the same manner. It's like... It's like a whole thing, and nobody ever wants to hear about it, and I'm sorry I made you listen to it, but unfortunately, organic does not necessarily mean much. I think it used to. I think it used to really mean something. Um, but yeah, base, most of the time, if, if you're buying something certified organic, organic, you can pretty much be sure that the smallest craft farms in these different countries... Your, the coffee did not come from them um, because they can't afford the certificate. Um, they, they just can't. So I work with coffee and I appreciate your explanation. Well, awesome. Seems tired when running a homestead. I don't blame. Oh, yeah. I get tired out here. I get tired. Worked at a farmer's market. I'd like to hear about this a lot. I would hear about this a lot. It's not great. Yeah, no, it's it's not. Yeah, if you get a chance, talk to some small farmer and ask why their stuff isn't organic. They'll probably tell you something really similar to what I told you. Um, watching you, I was catching my journal for architectural school. That's cool. How's Minion doing? He's good. He's good. Well, he went up on the bed now. He's hanging out with Jen. And do a video during the eclipse. I'm sure I'll do a video on the eclipse. I'll probably point my live at it. Um, how are you and Jen doing? We're good. Hey, famous dude. <laughs> Your beard products as well, trying to grow my beard. So that's cool. Awesome. Get some sleep, brother. You look tired. I am tired. It's been a long day. Many in a wiener dog. He is part dachshund. Organic is more paperwork than anything else. That's right. It is. It is. That's a good sparkling water. It depends on your preference. I like the LaCroix stuff. I don't know. It's cheap and tastes good to me. But on that note, I am going to, I am going to hop off of here, but thanks guys for hanging out with me. Thanks guys for buying like tons of minion plushies. I'll give you the final count before I jump off of here. Unless the website, oh, there we go. I was going to say, I have load already. 369 left. There were 900 as of 1 o'clock this afternoon, and now it's 10 o'clock, and there's 369 left. So they are, they are going. 
<laughs> and I asked what your favorite pasta was. Probably like a five cheese ziti. That's delicious. Or lasagna. I love pasta is the problem. Picking a favorite's impossible. Anyway, snuck in that last answer. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you guys probably next, next week, same time.